Shark's Cove, in between Waimea Bay and Pipeline at Pupakea, is an amazing place to sit and watch the surf in the winter. Looks totally different than the summertime. These gigantic waves in the winter crash into this old lava flow and hit it directly head on. From underneath the water, you can see how these giant waves are shaping the reef and changing it day by day. It's one of the most visual places on the North Shore to watch the surf when it's up. And then in the summertime, it's one of the best places to scuba dive, right underneath where those huge waves are crashing into the lava flow. When you walk out to go on a dive and you look up at the reef, it's jagged and sharp as can be. Somewhere you definitely don't want to get washed on top of. There's a bluff it goes straight up and down below the waves, about 30 feet. Shark's Cove is a marine reserve, so there's lots of fish there, and people don't hunt or spearfish or catch the fish. They're very tame, and when you scuba dive, sometimes you'll see a thousand fish on one dive. It's an amazing place because you've got thousands of pounds of energy in every single wave that smashes directly onto the lava flow. It's made this cool pond at Pupakea where the kids can go and swim in. And then it's made a series of really neat caves and holes in the reef at the base of the cliff. You can go right inside these caves, sit there, pause, and look all the way into the pond at Pupakea and then all the way back out to sea. Big fish like this Omilu and Alua cruise by quite often. Dragon moray eels. All kinds of cool critters live in these caves underneath the reef at Pupakea. This beautiful Achilles tang hanging out on the bluff, looking down over the cliff. In the winter time, this fish would get thrashed if it was living there. Pam is inside here with a big trumpet fish. These fish stand on their head and eat smaller fish by catching them by surprise. Pam's trying to get a cool picture of them. Then this giant school of manini, the convict tangs, comes by. These fish here are what keep the reef clean. They're algae eaters. They move from place to place and they flow back and forth with the waves. These menini keep the algae from growing on the reef and that way the coral can grow. Back in the cage are these huge soft sponges with eels living in them, like this big white mouth moray, and all kinds of crazy designs inside these dark caves under the reef at Pupakea. This is a type of crestose coral and algae. It's really an amazing place, not good for surfing, but if you like the ocean, it's one of the prettiest places on the North Shore. <laughs>